we are going to use Microsoft Playwright for our first few projects. This is basically a browser you can control via code. Some alternatives are Puppeteer or Selenium, maybe you already heard about that. Okay, first we want to initialize a new node project and then install the Playwright library. This may take much longer for you because it has to download all the binaries for Firefox, WebKit and Chromium. Create a new file called simple.js and import the Playwright library. Now we can choose from one of three browser types. I choose Chromium here, but you can also use Firefox or WebKit if you are on macOS and want to uh, launch as a Safari browser. The API is all the same for these different browsers. First of all, we're going to create a new async function here and test if our setup is working. For that, just log hello world, open a new terminal and note simple.js to run our code. Everything works because we see hello world here. Let's create a new browser with our library. For that, we use the browser type to access the correct browser and as the launch op options it is really important to say headless false because this means that we actually see what our browser is doing. Headless true is only needed if you want to run the program on a server. The first project is just searching on Google and for that we need to open the Google page. And now we try everything out and we see that I get an error here with a blank page. This is because I forgot an await statement when creating a new page. This means that we try to access google.com before the browser even finished creating the new page. So this is why we got an exception. Fix it by putting the await here, test it again and finally it works. Let's define a variable for our search term. I will use I love automation and then start the browser again because we need to see where we can access the element to put in the search term. For that, right click on the page and click on inspect. This might vary between the browsers. I will explain more about this developer tools in future video videos, but for now, just click on this little mouse button here and then you can hover over all elements on your web page, click on them and you will automatically jump to the correct HTML representation for that. Try to find a CSS attribute which seems to be unique to this particular element. I choose name equals Q because I think there's no other element with this attribute on the page. Now we use the CSS selector, which is the dollar function and we go for name equals Q and pay attention to the single and the double quotes here. This is important in order for the JavaScript parser, parser to work correctly. Once we start the input element in a variable, we go input.type and pass in our search term and then input.press enter because this will trigger the search on Google. Test everything again with node simple.js and we see it works perfectly. It enters the search term, hits enter and submits the search. As a last step, we want to make a screenshot so we can even prove that our bot works when we change the mode to headless equals true later on. Browser.close will make sure that, that Chrome closes automatically and we not have to do this by hand. After the program finished, we open the screenshot and we see that there's a blank page. That's because we immediately made the screenshot after hitting enter. So Google had no time fetching the results and showing them to the browser. To fix that, we go back into our code and insert a custom timeout with 2000 milliseconds before doing the screenshot. This time our screenshot looks perfectly fine. Now I want to show you that with headless equals to true, no browser window is popping up, 
but we can still see the screenshot of our final website. Therefore, we will change the search term to I hate automation, so we really see a difference here. When starting the script, no browser window is going to pop up, but still it took some time till it's finished. If we open the screenshot for the last time now, we see there's a different screenshot and we searched for I hate automation.